the flow of the rivers have two main influences. The first one are the mountains and the relief. Rivers are long when they come from a long way from the sea. Rivers are short when they rise in mountains near the sea. But the climate also affects the flow of the rivers. Rivers in wet climates have an abundant flow. Rivers in drier climates have an irregular flow. Let's talk now about the course of a river. The course of a river is the route of the river from its source to its mouth. If the main river finds other rivers, these are called tributaries. There's also a place where fresh water from the river mixes with the seawater from the sea. This is called estuary. And there are deltas, places where materials carried by the river are deposited at the mouth. These deltas have normally the shape of a triangle. Finally, we've got the flow, is the amount of water a river carries. If the flow is low in summer and high in winter, we can say it has an irregular flow. But if the flow stays the same, we say the flow is regular. To finish, I can tell you that the course of a river is divided into three parts, upper course, middle course and lower course.